What's going on, everybody? This is Rain. And Jeno. And this is Sinister RP Reactions. Alright guys, uh, based off of what you guys said you want us to react to, one of the number one videos would be for Chills. And Chills just brought a video out yesterday and we're looking forward to checking it out. It is called Five Videos So Scary You Can't Handle Them. We're going to see if we can. But uh, we know that he gets a lot of hate comments on his voice and we're not really cool with all that on our channel and stuff because it's just the way the guy talks. It's true. If you guys don't know that, go to his channel, search up. He did a stream on it actually. I mean, it's, it's literally just the way he talks. So if you guys want to make fun of him, you, you can go do that elsewhere. All right. I bet you can't handle these scary videos without getting freaked out because they are seriously scary. Number five. This scary CCTV video of a woman's paranormal encounter went viral in 2016 and has been freaking people out ever since. Let's see if this is a real possession attempt like they say, or if someone is merely pretending their house is haunted. The paranormal activity begins late at night, possibly 3am when a ghost opens the door. You can kind of see some kind of movement in the doorway, an apparition perhaps, but it could be pixelation. Uh, I just want to say, guys, that it is pretty easy to actually fake something like that. Um, it's as simple as using uh, fishing wire, right? Or really thin string. We'll never do it to you guys in our videos. No way. Um, but we can spot it out. So sometimes when we watch paranormal videos, we don't always look out for the, the ghosts. We look out for anything that could be fake. And it's not for us to go off and just say that everyone is fake. Right? A lot of things are up for debate. So I'm not saying that this is fake right now. I'm just saying that there is a possibility. And just like our videos, you know, I know um, from a viewer standpoint, sometimes you can watch and go, no, no, no. And I think that too when I post it, but I go, I don't know how else I can prove it. <laughs> right? I, what else do I do? <laughs> right? So, you know, it is what it is. So we'll see what Chills thinks of this. The CCTV video then catches her bedspread falling away as if I a ghost pulls on it. Yeah, it She's startled awake, scared, confused, like and in the darkness, mm -hmm. a spirit orb flies away. At the same time, scary noises are caught somewhere off camera. She turns on the light, but the light turns off all by itself, and another ghost orb flies away. She's freaked out and goes into the next room for a bit, but the paranormal activity is far from over. Okay, so it's hard to tell on the CCTV system, but the light switch is here. Her hand is on the bed when the light turns on all by itself, and then it goes back off, leaving her scared in the dark once more as she fearfully fumbles for her phone. A final spirit orb flies away from here and up to the light. Although this video is scary, some things make me question if this ghost sighting caught on CCTV is real or fake. Watch the corner of her pillow. When a ghost opens the door, the corner of her pillow moves by itself. <laughs> almost like there is a string that's running behind her pillow to make it look yeah. like the door opens by itself. That's nice catch. And instead of a ghost pulling the For covers sure. off, <laughs> it looks like she could be pushing them down with her leg. The scary yeah, yeah. caught on camera yeah, could be made be by someone standing in the corner of the room not seen stuff. here. Yeah. And as for the light turning on by itself, there could be two light switches controlling the same light, the second one being off camera. But nevertheless, this footage is terrifying. Number yeah, four, there could be on the a other YouTuber side of wall. named Baskir Bennywall has been thinking about the strange events of this unexplained video taken on his helmet cam at night in India. The more he thinks Pause about the mysterious. Second. Why are you just recording randomly while you're on your bike? Right? I never could understand why people just randomly record while they're driving. 
Let's encounter that I'm about to show you. The less sense it makes to him and the more scared he becomes. So let's try to solve this video and help him explain the unexplained. Okay, so he's returning home with his friends, but the roads are very dark and soon they become completely lost. They are already going slow to look for road signs when a speed bump slows them down even more. That's when they capture on camera a mysterious figure in white walking up ahead. At first, they are excited because they think he will be able to give them directions to get back home, but the mysterious figure instead does not say a word or even acknowledge them, staring straight the Get whole time. Pants on. Tell me what's being well, said during this short interaction in case I'm missing on. anything important. <laughs> no, he doesn't have oh, pants. Yes. Oh, he doesn't have pants. Oh, he doesn't have pants. Crack! <laughs> Something about the man is extremely awkward and instantly gives Crack. this YouTuber the impulse to get away fast. After a while, however, That's what I would they figure if I there's no harm in trying now. to ask okay, for directions from him. A second time, paranormal. so they turn around. But here's where things get weird. They go to where he last was sighted, only to find. <laughs> when the drugs took over and bolted. Yeah, he's gone. Now, he but the could mysterious be in the figure has completely vanished. Yeah, and it's, and so it's dark. not like a lot of time has gone know. by or anything like that. You can't they tell if there's the bush or anything on the side of the road that he could be hiding into. There's some long around, grass. And yeah. then drive back for I mean, another 20 seconds to where he know. just was. It is, it is kind of creepy though that just somebody randomly walking on the road like that though. Assuming this was a person and not a spirit. He could have seen the motorcycle turning around and got scared, so he found somewhere to hide. But here's the thing, I never told you where they were returning from. They had spent the day at the Bangar Fort, which is said to be of the most haunted places in all of India. So maybe this was a ghost sighting of something paranormal that was following them home. I mean, walking around in the middle of the night in total darkness is weird. Not stepping off the road when a vehicle approaches is even weirder. And staring straight ahead when someone calls for your attention is just bizarre. So maybe it was this a ghost on video ones. after so all. Hard to tell. Number mm -hmm. three. Julie, Kelly, Emily, and Liz are the ghost moms, a paranormal investigation team from Kansas. These uh, ghost moms here, that's pretty cool looking the location that you guys found in this uh, abandoned jail. Mm -hmm. Me and Jen actually have uh, located an abandoned jail and are hopefully going to be able to record there. We're just going to see if we can get some permission to do it. All right, let's finish this bad boy off who are mothers by day and ghost hunters by night. The team has a unique ghost hunting style that I've never seen before. Aside from bringing a variety of equipment, they also use positivity and a motherly appeal that makes the paranormal feel comfortable enough to communicate with them. Tonight, they're extra scared though because the ghost moms are exploring an abandoned haunted prison at the Missouri State Penitentiary, a place where their motherly charm is not particularly useful. As they peer down a long dark hallway, scary ghost noises beckon them from within. Yeah, or brighter it's really scary not being able to see anything but through the camera. We've learned that the hard way. Here it is again with a sound up, the supposed creepy voice caught on tape. It could be a ghost EVP, or it could be something else like a bat flying away. It's hard to say which. They yeah, set a motion detecting paranormal equipment in the area mm -hmm. where they heard the noise and apparently are able to convince a ghost to come out of its cell. Can you touch that ball? That's cool. Oh, thank you. Those are cool. Yeah. Let go. Oh, wow. As soon as she says let go, it stops. Oh, my gosh. A scary, loud noise from another cell demands their attention, and so they place a music box on the floor to see if anything is there. Why is it speeding up? It's speeding up. It's not stopping. <laughs> It's really strange. It's really weird. They are scared because somebody has to be turning the handle to make the music play hmm. faster. Yeah, that would and as you can then. see, none of the ghost yeah. hunters are near the object. It goes faster by itself. Why is it doing that? <laughs> oh, the rim pod's going off, oh. Julie. 
Off. I'd love to get their one equipment of those detects a ghost yeah, in the hallway sweet. when none of them are anywhere nearby. So that's bizarre to say the least. If not paranormal, maybe it was a rat running by. But I think we all know it was probably a spirit. After the ghost mom split up to go exploring each haunted prison cell for more paranormal evidence. One of them hears what they think is a scary whispering voice, followed by a fit of laughter. Was it an EVP or was it one of her fellow ghost hunters? Oh, I sound like Number a kid. Two, yeah. Adam McIntyre travels from I, Ireland I, to I, London uh, to investigate the Woodrow yeah, High House. Definitely. A house said to be haunted by the grieving ghost of a widow yeah. named Lady Helena Stanhope, who has been endlessly roaming these hallways since the 1600s. Adam and his ghost hunting pals think they encounter the spirit lady haunting this hallway, and I think they could be right. And immediately the door starts like opening and closing. Yeah. <gasps> <laughs> no, I'm actually scared. Wait. Okay, I'm gonna go in. There's literally no draft here. Wait. I wonder if they open the like door it. though. Stop <gasps> screaming. <gasps> yeah. Because it could be somebody on inside. Could be. Adam is freaking out because a ghost is slamming doors in the same hallway where he will be spending the night. He mentions Helena nicely by name, <laughs> treating her here. like a person rather than a sideshow attraction. <laughs> this is my bedroom corridor, so I don't want her, like, Helena. <laughs> And Helena the ghost responds by closing the door gently instead of slamming it shut like before. The three of them are really scared, so they don't go right away, <laughs> but they do briefly explore the room. It looks from like the something door, I would see do. <laughs> standing there. As they stand breathlessly outside, it becomes more than apparent that an apparition does not want to let them in. <laughs> Finally, the nervous trio works up the courage to enter the haunted room and conduct a little paranormal experiment of their own for more evidence. They lock the door to prove that it really is slamming the door and not a draft. After a while, like proper lock it. Is it awful? Oh, is it the wedding, Kaylin? Is it the wedding? Unfortunately, Adam's head is blocking the lock when it happens, so we never get to see how the ghost manages to open the door, or if it was one of them all along. I've got a challenge for you. Yeah, it's hard to say with his head being in the way. It is true. Let's got to pause that there and skip that ahead guy for a second here. Oh yeah, it's always in the way. Okay. Out. Number one, police in the Indian city right, of Jhansi stand perplexed as gym equipment rises and falls by itself with no one touching it. They aren't sure what the proper protocol is for investigating Crazy. paranormal entities <laughs> moving objects. It looks like they're having a mad exercise session. <laughs> the ghosts are working out. John C. Police page on Twitter. So there is no reason to think they would fake a ghost sighting because it could get them in trouble. Plus, one of the videos is a better resolution and it doesn't look like there are any strings attached to the equipment. Police later said that a hooligan greased the equipment to make it do this. But until someone can replicate this situation, I vote that the whole place is haunted after all. I don't understand how this greasing countdown it is not for the squeamish. So don't be surprised when these scary the videos place. make you squirm and with keep it fear. Going Super grease and start make it go and then you book it. Like, oh no. <laughs> I don't know. Like that actually is that's weird. Mm -hmm. That's actually weird. It is. Yeah, that was a little strange. That last mm -hmm. one was actually a little weird. Could you imagine? Imagine you just going to a gym, right? And you're going to go and have a workout, and all of a sudden you see the equipment just start doing its own thing. Yeah. I'd be like, well, yeah, I'm out of here. <laughs> and that's like in an outdoor park. An outdoor park, yeah, yeah. exactly. Right? And there wasn't even a tank, it looked like there was wind mm -hmm. in there. Plus, that it, that'd have to be some pretty strong wind to do that. That was pretty crazy. Well, if you guys enjoyed that as much as we did, make sure you guys show us with a, a like, a subscribe, and a comment. All right, guys, until next time, keep spooky.